Ben, thanks a lot. And now CBS4 investigates. In many places, an elected official must live where he or she works, such as the case in North Miami Beach, where anyone holding public office is required to live in the city. But a recent complaint alleges that the city's mayor has not been living in North Miami Beach, a violation of the city charter. What's more, he may also have been voting outside of the district where he lives. CBS4's Joe Gorcho investigated the allegations. Here's what he found. Here is a copy of the complaint filed on December 17th of last year by a resident to Miami-Dade's Commission on Ethics and Public Trust. It alleges that North Miami Beach Mayor Anthony DeFilippo no longer lives in this city. Allegations that lead us to two questions. Where is his primary residence and did he commit voter fraud in this past election? I encourage all of you to keep your faith. Uh, and know that your mayor is your mayor. At the city's last commission meeting on December 20th, Mayor Anthony DeFilippo maintained he lives in North Miami Beach. He offered his defense after Commissioner Mackenzie Florman brought to light allegations from a resident that the mayor lives outside the city. They deserve to know that the elected officials that are serving them are in fact serving them based on the charter as residents of the city of North Miami Beach. The city charter says elected officials must always be and remain bona fide residents of North Miami Beach. My address has always been in North Miami Beach. My residency has always been in North Miami Beach and without question. And if you want to question it, the clerk is there and has all my information. If any elected official does not live in the city, including our mayor, it's an automatic vacating of that seat. So we went digging in voting and property records and found possible red flags. December 2021, Mayor Anthony DeFilippo sold his family home of 14 years in North Miami Beach. Voting records show he used that address to vote three times in 2022, but he apparently no longer lived there. That would be a problem because you can only cast a vote in a precinct or district from your legal residence in which you are registered. So we asked lawyer David Weinstein if that could potentially be a criminal offense. Did the voter intend to vote either unlawfully or in a location where they should not have been voting or cast a second ballot? And all of that requires intent on the part of the person who cast their vote Combing through records, we found DeFilippo re-registered his voting address last month in a different North Miami Beach precinct. It's registered to a one-bedroom, 830-square-foot condo in the Eastern Shores neighborhood. Another question arises, where has the mayor been living with his family of four since December 2021? Or did his family move and he stayed behind at Eastern Shores? We kept searching to find out. Last year, DeFilippo owned two homes in Davie. He and his wife sold this condo in June, and the photos on Realtor.com show a home well lived in by a family. We see closets full of clothes, what appears to be his wedding photo, and what seems to be him without a shirt and a reflection of a picture in front of a microwave. Then in July, online property records show his family purchased a $1.2 million home in another neighborhood in Davie. This week, we went to the Gates call box. A name matching his name appeared. We called multiple numbers, sent emails reaching out to the mayor to explain. We're not alone in searching for an explanation. North Dade Neighbors Alliance is a nonprofit comprised of concerned community members. The founder claims not to be politically motivated. He tells CBS for the group hired a law firm to investigate the matter. The firm hired countywide investigations. According to the group, photos from their weeks long investigation beginning in late November show the mayor at a home he purchased with his wife. White vehicle each and every time that we either drove by or did stationary surveillances was there. We did see that the mayor was living there along with his family. Lead private investigator Kennedy Rosario said they set up a stationary video camera outside the gated community from December 6th through the 22nd, tracking what they say is the mayor's vehicle entering the neighborhood late at night and leaving the next day numerous times. Enough days that uh, gave us the conclusion that he was living there. And investigators tell us they have yet to see the mayor's vehicle during their surveillance at Eastern Shores, where he's registered to vote. CBS4 has so far been unable to independently verify the private investigator's surveillance findings. The mayor responded to our questions in an email, quote, I made a clear and factual public statement as to my residency at the last commission meeting on December 20th. 
The city clerk's office provided an email from December 21st, 2021. The city clerk writes, the mayor wanted to update his records to reflect he changed his residency to the condo at Eastern Shores. The mayor did not clarify the discrepancies when asked for comment. All right, Joe, so what did Commissioner Florimont say might be next for the city? Commissioner Florimont says one of the next steps they have to take is to hear a legal opinion from their a city attorney and what action the commission should take on this complaint against the mayor. So we haven't heard the end of the story. Joe, thank you very much.